What is going on guys? Today we are looking at base Essien. He is the Ghanaian 85 centre mid, or CDM in fact. He is actually quite good. We managed to get him out of a base icon SBC quite some time ago now and it's just been card after card after card and I have not actually done a review on him. So if we know what, we're in a bit of downtime. We believe we've got headliners coming this Friday so it means that more than likely we'll get a couple day break away from review or well, away from new players so I can go and get some of the old ones and get them done. We have got Ronaldo coming up next so definitely like and subscribe for that and like I said if you've got any icons definitely share them down below who you've got if you've paid for them if you've got them out of packs who's your favorite let me know down below and let's get into Essien's review so Essien is the five foot ten high high work rates right footed free star free star Ghanaian center defensive mid and honestly he's always been a pretty safe option in terms of icon um, throughout this game he's coming in roughly at about 700 on the Xbox and about 860 on the PlayStation what that tells me is bases are out of packs we've got an icon SBC out I, he's going to be pretty good if you've held the price for that long and I know they are out of packs but an icon SBC he's not going to be the hardest to pack because there's there's bigger out there he's going to be a solid dub in terms of who you can get from it and he is more than the value of the SBC as well so I was very very happy to get him he does kind of like f uh, finally link my Ronaldo in a box so I've got Bruno, Essien, um, Zambrotta and I think it's Cannavaro all linking him into a box so I don't need any other players so it's quite a nice icon to get and honestly solid throughout decent pace at 83 can't really argue with that we've got 72 shooting it's a bit average but to be honest I play him more as a DM role so I don't really need him pushing forward we've got passing um, again this could be higher we will have a look at his prime and his mid just to see what the difference is between them I can imagine his prime and then probably prime moment is going to be absolutely wonder class we've got great dribbling in terms of like just a DM in general um, agility balance could be a bit better Balance is obviously not bad at all. It's mainly the agility that slightly lets him down. The one stat that really gets me on the dribbling, 79 composure. I just, that that's the one stat that I really wanted to be at least 85 plus, And it will kind of prolong this card for quite some time. I will say this, I have played with him for probably two or three weekend leagues now and honestly I haven't really noticed a massive kind of downgrade for him but I do think that is going to be one that holds you back later on in the game when there's cards with 90 plus 85 plus so always make sure that you check that composure I think that for me is the only real downfall bar from the free star free star of this card defensively absolutely sound you whack a shadow on him you get 90 plus defending again we'll have a look at the chem stalls on the footbin uh, web at on the uh, other screen the overall and then physicals again are absolutely class so let's jump into some gameplay and see what Essien can do. So all my clips for Essien are within foot champs this weekend. So honestly, not bad at all. Manages to get goals, manages to get assists, and does some absolutely banging tackles in the last line of defence. He's an all-rounder for me, and it's not me naturally. It's not me forcing him forward to go to kind of go in front of goal, but he naturally goes forward. But he's always back just in case. I play with two DMs at the minute. It's Essien and Partey, both Ghanaian CDM. So very happy with that link. Would be nice if Partey does manage to get another inform to rate him up. I do know he's out injured, maybe for quite some time. So it may be that we have to go and look at somebody else. But Essien is definitely stealing that limelight since he's come in. He's been absolutely brilliant in that. DM. DM role and just as a midfielder throughout I feel like he definitely can do both I do think defensively he is better but most definitely can run forward and give you some opportunities there's been multiple goals from him multiple uh, chances taken and in foot champs he's absolutely clutched up for me so for me I think price tag wise I probably still wouldn't spend the coins on him unless it is desperate that you need an icon there. I personally would always look around it for gold cards or specials because the price of an icon sometimes can be a bit extortionate. For me, I mainly get my icons from icon SBCs just because you have the chance of a big boy. And then if you do get this kind of like 
a small dub in comparison to them, I'm quite happy as well. So for me, Icon SBC would be the way to go. So let's jump into the end review for Essie. And as you can see, we have given them a 9.2. And in the previous review, I mentioned a spreadsheet. We are going to kind of work through that. I'm personally going to get a few names down first and kind of backtrack a few different names that I know I've done and kind of maybe alter some of the ratings just to show you kind of like what I think now and then we're going to make a set in stone list for them and I will bring it out in some reviews I'm not going to do it in absolutely every single one if it's not valid or I haven't got enough kind of data to show you in comparison so Essien's going to be the first name on there and then we will backtrack 9.2 and why is 9.2 he's a quality card I think nonetheless no one can disagree with that he's a very very good card but I think the free star free star lets him down and the composure lets him down in terms of making him a 10 out of 10 if he did have say 85 plus composure maybe even just a four star weak foot i could definitely bump that up to probably 9.5 to get him to the 10 i feel like we just need a big increase in the stats which if we have a look at his 87 we lose a bit of the pace which is vital in the prime the prime is where it's at 1.6 mil we can see the different in, difference in class and that is where my 10 out of 10 lies 1.6 mil for 85 pace 90 defensive and 90 physical 85 composure again i would like that higher for 1.6 mil but i'll definitely take it with that upgrade from his base and overall just looks an absolute nutty card and he does get an upgrade on his weak foot as well that's actually insane i've never noticed that before that is crazy. So his his base has got a three star, three star, mid and prime both have a three star, four star. So that for me is the upgrade that you want. If you've got Essien as a base now, his prime is definitely a huge, huge upgrade with a million extra price tag you can imagine. In terms of links, obviously there isn't many or if I don't think there is any other Ghanaian midfielders or Ghanaian icons. You've obviously got Party as the big one. If we do have a quick look there, Party, we've got the story line guy here that's really it you're not really going to go with anybody else in my opinion obviously other icons Vidic, Ronaldinho, Zambrota you've got similar cards like Lam, Guardiola you've obviously got if I just go on similar because this is where I looked Petit, Gattuso, Rijkaard, uh, Vieira, Balak, Kina wouldn't really say so, Hullet maybe not a great midfielder in my opinion obviously you've got the mid of him and it's just like next level Veron obviously being quite a defensive midfielder as well so there is plenty of other options if you so, so choose but for me I think he's a solid card I wouldn't ever turn him down um, obviously he fits into the team quite nicely links off Ronaldo links with party as well as a strong link life's good with that I think it's a very good SBC card personally would I pay 600 700k cash no, I, I wouldn't do that for many icons unless it's like an R9, a Vieira, someone who's going to be absolute end game tier. I personally would always do the SBC rather than go buy these because you could get an R9, you could get a, a, a Cantona, you could get a, a Vieira, a Hullet, and that's just how it works. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and I'll see you all for the next one. Make sure you subscribe. Peace.